Okay. I mean, we're not getting a lot of XP. It seems like. Like, the leveling up's definitely slowed down a lot. I mean, we're still doing pretty good. With XP, like, we're up to 10 points, which is still pretty... Pretty great. Can't complain too much there. This guy's gonna be a, a tough one. I mean, we're almost up to full green hearts, so I'm not... Yo, yo, everybody, what's going on? It's Lodis here, back with another Nordic Ashes run. Hopefully, y'all am enjoying the content. If so, make sure you guys tap that like button down below. And if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Every little bit counts, and I do greatly appreciate it, as it does show that 98% of you guys are not subscribed, and we are working our way towards 1,000 subscribers. So make sure you guys smash that button down there. You guys can also press that bell notification to get notified when a new video goes live, as I do upload every single day, and you guys don't want to miss out. Without further ado, let's jump right on into this. We're going to play some Amaranth on uh, Alpine since we haven't ran any on Alpine yet. And um, I think on normal run, we should be able to get an easy dub without using any uh, Ascension Crystals. And if so, that'll leave us with literally uh, just one left, which means like we could go into a run, skip the first one with Ascension Crystals, and then the second one, we take an essential crystal so which is pretty good pretty good this is uh damage and cooldown i believe so these are both pretty good relics um definitely can't complain on them um the way the reason why amaranth i feel like is pretty good for this is because um she has the spawn that brings the xp to us like the flowers and stuff which is huge um Cooldown and damage is good. Cooldown, summons and area, damage and duration, summons and area. Um, okay, I'd rather get summons and like damage. Cooldown damage works. Damage and summons. Okay. Really wants cooldown and damage or uh, something else. Okay. Um, ooh, a good one that we can take with her as well is the uh, regen a green heart every uh, minute. Oh my gosh. This is a uh, part of the upgrade that we got in the last one, so this is huge. I'll take the summons, heck yeah. Probably should look at taking damage, but that's okay. Um, critical attacks have a 10% chance of poisoning enemies. That's actually pretty pretty huge, I guess. Could be interesting. Could be very interesting. Um, I do want to go with XP. Juice this up before it gets any later in the run. Because um, we want to get as high as the level to max out it anything and everything if possible and this is why i would say like amaranth is pretty good for this because like we don't have anything and nothing can even get on our screen right now so shoot stones that bounce off enemies sure i mean i guess i don't we could get it since we're not going to get anything else this run so we might as well might as well take it all right might as well take it um, even though it's something that we don't necessarily really need. Burned enemies, I mean, sure, that's another relic we don't really need. So we could sell that for uh, some some points. I think we'll get probably three from that. Maybe more. Who the heck knows? Who knows? But we'll see. Um, yeah, run all the way down here. I don't think we uh, should have too much to worry about after we pick up this Ascension Crystal. Um... More seedlings would be best, I would say. Uh, we did get that where we get should get plus 20% more um, seedlings, which will be pretty huge. Um, we'll probably do like all three of these Amaranth runs maybe in a row. I don't know yet. I haven't quite decided um, to get Amaranth caught up to where all the other ones are. Um, we may just knock out... Um, we could knock out um, either Axel Doors in the next run with Stormbringer, or we could do Half Grims with the Ice, which I, I, I think I'm going to do Half Grims with the Ice, because then we can go back to using Axel Door with uh, full Ascension Crystals and everything, which will be pretty huge. So, we'll see though, we'll see. But yeah, hopefully y'all have been enjoying this um, as much as I have. Um, been having fun, been having a blast. I know there's going to probably be close to like 300 episodes of this 
uh, by the time this series is done. Um, I will get back to uploading other games as well, get back to the variety content rather than just uploading Nordic Ashes, which is what it's been for a month. Um, if y'all have been wa watching the content and uh, Nordic Ashes isn't up to your uh, like par or game that you're not enjoying but you're still watching, I do greatly appreciate that. Um, that you're here to watch for me and not uh, the gameplay, but yeah, I do I do appreciate that and uh, we'll get back to some other games here soon. We'll finish up some other games um, as there is a few and uh, I still have like, I think I mentioned a couple times, I have like 30 some odd games installed right now that uh, are on the list of games that uh, I want to play or do playthroughs of. Like there's uh, there's like Unpacked, there's Roots of Pasha, there's uh, Stardew Valley, um, Coral Island still, like, there's, there's a bunch of games that, uh, I have that I definitely still want to do playthroughs of, so, definitely stand by, um, Soul Mask just came out, there's, um, Enshrouded, um, I mentioned in the last episode I want to finish up, like, Zombie Survivors, and, uh, um, Lissara Summit Kingdom, um, Deep Rock Galactic Survivors, and, uh, Actually, surprising enough, I think Deep Rock Galactic also had a major update recently as well. Um, I think by the, at the time I'm recording this, it's been out for probably about uh, two weeks now, um, would be my guess. Um, what else? Uh, oh, I also want to finish um, Zombie Survivors. I don't know if I mentioned that one or not, but that's also another one I do want to finish. So, but yeah, we got quite a few. Quite a few, I'd say. Um, which, we'll end up bringing uh, that stuff back here uh, soon. Um, let's get, uh, this guy going. Um, and get this. So, definitely, definitely stay tuned if, uh, this isn't your guys' type of, uh, game. Um, but definitely, um, stick with it as, uh, we will be, uh, going back to that stuff here soon. I mean, we don't really have non-summoning other than this. Um, movement speed, attack speed... Uh, I think attack speed might be the way to go. Now we're, we'll go pea shooter for um um the wave clear since we're not taking anything, and this just helps towards uh, clearing stuff that's not on our screen. Okay. I know I said I wanted to take the green uh, heart regen early. Well, we definitely did not do that. Um, hopefully we'll do it uh, this time. Ho or hopefully we'll get enough. I mean, I took it early enough. Look at that, we even killed the boss. Okay, doesn't matter, we're leaving. Don't matter, we're leaving. We out of here. 23 points, not too bad. Um, I'm gonna come down here, see what we got going on. Um, what is this? Movement speed plus 20, okay. So we'll be zooming around. Not bad, I'll take that. Um, let's max out damage. Boom. Max out um, cooldown. Probably uh, area as well. Or at least work towards it. I do want to... We'll probably max out ultimate as well. Um, the ultimate on her shreds like crazy. So I'm not really too worried. And we're only on um, normal mode. So I'm, I'm, I'm not... I'm honestly not worried about her at all, so that'll be pretty good. I'd love to get the relic with um with um the one relic where if you have one red heart, um you do like an insane amount of increased damage or something. That could be pretty cool to get. Not that we like need it, but it'd be cool because of like where we're sitting. Um, five points, golden dagger, sure. I'll, t I'll end up taking that probably as well. Why not? It doesn't hurt us at all. Helps with a little bit of wave clear, even though the wave clear is not the craziest, but we'll take it. Why not? Why not? Uh, flowers? Yeah, okay, there we go. I was like, am I going to have flowers spawn on that guy or what? He's getting pretty close to us. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. We're looking pretty good. Alright, not bad, not bad. About 30 left, which we should get here in a second. Boom. Ooh, I can't believe I just walked into that. Cool, so we got all that. We'll take you. 
Um, yeah, we're looking pretty good. Let's set up the gold one now. Hopefully the gold one's something decent. Oh! Can't believe we just bob and weaved around that and dodged it. A uh, poison ring, huh? I mean, sure. Definitely with this, like, standing still is the way to go, because once you're moving, the flowers have a hard time spawning underneath stuff that is close to you, it seems like. Target the nearest enemy and explode. I do like the burn damage, though. Let's go with this. Um... Yeah, that'll work for now. Yeah, see, that guy just keeps getting closer to us, and it hasn't spawned a single, uh, single flower underneath him. Which makes it a little, a little scary. Just a wee bit. Okay. Let's grab this. Run over the cooldown altar, or monolith, shrine, whatever they're calling them. Pretty sure they're calling these the shrine or are these the uh I don't remember my mind is going blank right now. All right, I mean we're doing pretty good. Um, I'm probably gonna juice these guys up. Oh, I don't even have enough points yet. Okay. I mean we're looking good with all things considered. The reason I used that is because we got another one right here. So. I'll use it if I absolutely have to. Okay. I mean, we're still looking pretty, pretty great. Uh, I definitely want to get at least one of those. Ooh, that could be crazy. Um... I'll juice up the damage here. Definitely want summons on you. I'll do burn damage as well, why not? I definitely want more summons with the uh, fire dudes because those are the ones that'll get stuff that is, uh, like spawns right on top of us. I've, or not spawns on top of us, but if we're walking, like they come out from us. So like, unlike Ivy, just spawns, them at, spawns the flowers anywheres. The chili peppers come out directly from us. So like if we're close to stuff like this, they'll like, run out of us and run directly to uh, the closest thing, so that's a good thing there. Okay. I mean, we're not getting a lot of XP. It seems like. Like, the leveling up's definitely slowed down a lot. I mean, we're still doing pretty good. With XP, like, we're up to 10 points, which is still pretty... Pretty great. Can't complain too much there. This guy's gonna be a, a tough one. I mean, we're almost up to full green heart, so I'm not too worried about that. Please give us like a crazy one again. Projectiles. Ooh, another summon I'll take. Okay, I mean, this guy's already almost dead. So that's pretty good. Okay. Dude, he looks massive compared to some of the other guys we've ran. And he's dead. Too easy, dude. Too easy. And we outie. Like I said, Amaranth seems like she's one of the easiest characters to run this on. Is because, like, you don't really need anything with... I mean, do they help? Oh, 1,000 freaking percent they help. Burning an enemy also freezes it, and vice versa. Oh. Like, 1,000 percent it helps... Um, getting more, uh, like, upgrades and stuff, and Ascension Crystals, but it's like, do we really need it? Not entirely. Not entirely, like, because, like, especially if you can get the regenerative, uh, green hearts, like, every minute, like, dude, you do not need, like, anything, like, you're, you're pretty freaking strong, dude. We can take a hit because um, we're going to regen. Might as well take a hit for the XP. Um, let's bump this up. I do want more summons. 
Cooldown's fine. Summon in area's fine. Summons and damage is huge. Um, summons in area could be pretty huge. I think I'll do that one and that one. Perfect. Um, we'll juice this up. Um, and then we, we still have the whole wave to get enough to max that out. So we need, what, 17 points? And we still have, like, almost the entire wave to do that. We got a ton of chili summons now, which is massive. Um, 17 points on top of working toward also getting um, maybe some extras to level up some of the uh, other ones. So, like, the uh, boomerang, the stone boomerang, or the... Um, the uh, golden dagger could be cool. Who knows though? Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. I mean, we're doing pretty dang good. I'm not really worried about this run at all, since it is normal mode. But you never know. Things could get uh, things could get dicey and spicy um, at certain points. So. But I have I have some pretty high confidence that we're not gonna we're not gonna lose this one. Unless I do something stupid and, like, just walk right into the boss, like, five times, ten times. Actually, we need to walk into the boss, like, 28 times to freaking lose all that, which probably isn't going to happen. So. Do that. See if we can wipe out some more to try and get as many points as possible. We're only at 11. So we're not looking super good, considering the boss fight's about to come up. Um, I will take that, though, to get, um, five extra. Oh, my gosh. This would be insane. Damage and summons. Oh, my God. Can I get four more points? Three more points. If I can get three more points, that would be insane. Come on, come on, come on. And we got 140 seedlings. That's pretty good on a normal run. That is pretty good on a freaking normal run. And we got it. Holy crap, I can't believe we got it. 20 summons doing 228 damage. We didn't max out the pea shooter, which um, I completely forgot. I thought we maxed it out already. That's why I maxed out the chilies. So hopefully, eh, we didn't get enough points. Dang it. It's hoping we get. Oh, never mind. I was, I was walking into a rock. I thought uh, the uh, freaking boss door was coming in. Might be able to get enough. Probably not the max. Um, because we're going to need, like, another, like, I think we are, we're going to need, like, 13 points or something like that. But we could probably get pretty dang close to it. Five. Eh. Summons and cooldown. Summons and area. Yeah, not, not too crazy, but I mean, I mean, we could do that. Damage and area. Oh, summons and cooldown. Maybe? I'm going to hold off. Might get enough. No, we didn't get enough. Okay, that's all right. Um, I bet you we're going to pop our ultimate. I bet you we're going to kill her, kill her immediately. Boom, dude. She's dead. She's dead. Quickest kill yet. Quickest kill yet. Holy smokes. Holy smokes, dude. That was insane. 2700 dude max out ultimate on her is insane but yo if you guys enjoyed this episode make sure you guys tap that like button down below if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe every little bit counts and i do greatly appreciate it um and yeah hopefully um hopefully we can make some more crazy progress with her i'm gonna hold off on this for right now um but yeah this has been nordic ashes hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out